Right now, a probation detention center escapee faces several charges after a high-speed chase in Monroe County kills his passenger, a Mercer University student. Abby Kosora sat down with a student who knew 21-year-old Sapphire Thomas. Abby joins us live outside of Mercer. Thomas was a senior biology major with plans to head to medical school after she graduated. Now that friend says that she suspects foul play and she doesn't know what Sapphire was doing in that car. Hannah Warren is a student at Mercer University who works a part time job at the school's medical school library. I finally realized what it is that medical students have to go through in order to become doctors. She says that's where she met Sapphire Thomas, a biology major who dreamed of going to medical school. Um, she was usually pretty quiet. She always had her nose in the books, but um, she was really great with interacting with the students. Thomas, a passenger in a chase that started Saturday evening in Monroe County. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office says deputies tried to pull over a gray 2016 Dodge Charger for speeding on Interstate 75 South. But they say the driver, 25 year old Eric Guillermo Tapia Algeria of Snellville, never stopped. The chase led them here to the Madison on Mercer apartment complex on Bloomfield Road. The car wrecked and killed Thomas. I just can't even imagine how she would have ended up in the car. I don't know. I don't know what she was thinking through all of it. And one of my coworkers and I were talking and we were talking about like we can't imagine what her parents and what her family are going through. Warren says the news has spread throughout campus and on Sunday evening, Mercer University's minister sent out this email to students. The email says the memorial service plans for Sapphire are pending and encourages the Mercer community to join together. Like all of us, we're seniors. We're getting ready to go out into the world and start, you know, you know, changing it. Warren says she wishes the two could have graduated together because she says Thomas would have made a great doctor. So far, the Monroe County Sheriff's Office has not said if the two knew each other or what Thomas was doing in that car. Live in Macon, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Abby. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office says Algeria has warrants and charges in other counties, and they say he faces more charges after this chase.